this is Diane McNaughton. Welcome to my watercolour painting channel. In this video I'm going to demonstrate ways of starting your painting by covering your paper with a layer of diluted paint. These diluted layers are called washes and I'm going to show you a variety of them. Quite often we might leave a shape unpainted and these shapes represent the very lightest part of your painting. Let me show you here on this onion. You see this highlight here? We will leave that unpainted quite often because the white of the paper sparkles through. Another option is to create a very light warm wash that we can use to represent our highlights. Let me show you some examples. If you have a look at this painting of seagulls, I have left those areas where the sunlight is shining on their feathers as unpainted and the white of the paper is showing through. Whereas in this painting of Norway, I've decided to lightly stain the lightest areas with a very diluted wash. The first wash I'm going to show you is quite an easy wash to do. It's really a lovely thing to do. I'm actually going to wet the whole of the paper, except for, I've drawn a little like a roof shape here, so I can show you how to leave your white of the paper first thing to do is to make a lovely wash. If you can have a look at my palette here, you see how lovely and juicy this wash is? I've actually used quite dark paint. Normally when I do my first wash it is quite a light paint but for the purposes of the videos you can see what I'm doing. I've used a dark paint. I've used French ultramarine and I've, here it is. And what you do is you take, I've got enough fluid here, take it and rub it on this dry paint and then wipe it on the edge here and you get a nice wash. So my wash is ready. Then I'm I'm, because I'm going to wet the paper I actually want to get gravity to help me so I'm going to use a little bottle like this and put it under the board so that it is at a slant. So I'm going to start at the top and the paint is going to run down. All right, let's go and I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to wet the paper. I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to, oops, my brush has actually got paint on it, but never mind, you can see where it is, where I'm wetting it. So just wet from the top down and I'm going to leave that space where that little shape is. Just to show you how to do this, wet the rest of, the rest of it. And then what I do is I hold it up to the light and I check if there's any areas that aren't wet that I want wet. There we go. Right, let's go in. We start at the top and we just flood in the, the paint. And let it run down. So we don't any hard lines. We won't get any hard lines with this wetting the whole paper, come to the, the little roof and paint round it because you don't want paint to go in it and the paint won't run down on it because it's dry. And you can use gravity there a bit more, let it run, see it's running here and you can turn it this way. Let it run down that way. This is the second flat wash I'm going to show you and it's different in that you actually paint on dry paper not wet paper. So I'm going to go ahead and make the same wash. Here we go it's lovely and washy. I'm actually going to raise my board again with my little pot so we can get gravity helping us and we start at the top and I'm going to do sort of an S shape. I am coming along where it's, it's wet. You see there's a bead at the bottom of, of the stroke. I'm not going back into that. I keep going. Right, let's just go. And this bit area, this area here is kept wet because of the gravity. And I'm going to come around my shape. shape nice and 
Right, let me carry on down. We don't want to have any hard lines. There we go, all on dry paper. And you can do the same, that you can use gravity to give it a mix on the paper. Just to try and make it more uniform. I'll move it this way. There we go. That is our flat wash. The next kind of wash I'd like to show you is called a graded wash. It is where there's a strong vibrancy of colour on one side of the paper going towards a muted, more diluted version on the other side. If you imagine the sky, if you look above when it's a clear blue sky, it's very vibrant above you, but when you look at the horizon line down there, I've drawn a little picture, it's always more muted because of the pollution and water vapor and things like that. So let's try and do that. I'm, I've made up a little wash of cobalt blue. Here, there we go. And I'm going to do it on dry paper. And I'm going to start at the top with full strength colour. Well, not full strength, but stronger colour at the top. Let's add some more colour to that because we want that to be quite a strong colour. Let me come down. Again, don't want any lines. I think I want a little bit more coming down. that edge there so you don't get a line and then continue down to where you've drawn your horizon line. We can then paint a little bit of sea and land on that. We'll do that a bit later. The final wash I'm going to show you is called a blended wash. It's a situation where you have two colours now coming together in a merging situation where there's no hard lines between them. And this is great for doing backgrounds. So what I've done here is I've done a little quick flower and I'm going to paint this area here using a blended wash. I've done my um, two washes. I've got blue and yellow, same as the colours here. And I'm going to turn my board around because it's easier for me to reach this area without putting my arm over the painting. Let's go. I'm going to do it on dry paper, but I'm going to, where I've got detail here, I'm just going to wet that detail uh, quickly, just so that I can paint quite more easily. There we go. It just gives me a little bit of an edge. Right. Okay, let's start with some blue over here. out and we'll come with some yellow here and I'm going round the and now this is still wet you have to make sure that you you've got to work quite quickly so that both layers are still wet both colors and then I'm going to tip it so that I can see some of the yellow coming down. Can you see some of the yellow coming down into the, the blue? It's just gorgeous when it mixes on the paper. Let's bring that like that so some of the blue can come down into the yellow. And then of course I would come along round the flower. Start another little blending here. backgrounds and let it all run. 
I gave it a bit more gravity and encouraged the yellow and the blue to mix a little bit more and now it's dry and I really like what's happening there. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. My next video will deal with a more in-depth look at mixing paint on the paper.